Among the many inspiring quotes that may pop up on the internet is probably one of the most common ones, be your true self. We vaguely perceive this quote as something about identity and self-awareness. However, I believe that this quote doesn't fully illustrate the meaning of coming to terms with yourself. As humans, we have our own mind and minds and the will to express ourselves to other people. We all possess unique qualities that develop as we grow and are found and molded into the person we eventually become in the end. But ultimately, because we are imperfect, we usually wind up not knowing who I, me, myself, as an independent individual exactly is. And as a high schooler myself, I feel like a lot of people around my age are going through the processes of finding out who they really are, whether it be by trying new things or hanging out with different people, etc. This is definitely not an easy road. Even if you think you have reached the optimum level of self-awareness, your environment or any other condition can change drastically, and with that possibly your character or personality as well. And as we find difficulty adjusting to these changes, some of us find ourselves uncomfortably uncomfortable in the image that has defined us for years prior. Obviously, your true self is a flexible concept, but to a certain extent, there can be boundaries. If how we act on the outside or how we're seen by others exceeds these boundaries, it feels like we are not, as they say, living as ourselves. Everything in your life may be stable and going well, you can still feel that you are not the owner of this life. Maybe you lived under someone's directions and exchanged freedom for stability. Maybe you try to live like someone else and to achieve something like popularity or general social acceptance. Whatever the reason it was, you are confused and feel insecure about the identity you're taking on right now. This is what is called an identity crisis. And although it can be considered a critical step in getting to know yourself, based on my experience, it can also be quite debilitating. So how do we work through this crisis? The first step would be to distinguish which behaviors are heavily reliant on someone or something other than yourself. Once you realize this, working towards expressing and emphasizing your actual self is basically the rest of the process. We, don't need to we do need to understand that living completely as your true self is impossible in this world, though. Self-image cannot be free from the influence of societal norms. We have to acknowledge that because we are a part of society, we can never be entirely separate from its influence. Also, these should never suppress or deny any valid characteristic of an individual. And that was what caused my identity crisis. In my case, I was so caught up with the, my goal of not being hated, or at least being unaware of any hate directed towards me, that I was willing to change myself a lot. And I had this fear that everyone hated me for doing this or that, to the point at which I was basically paranoid and overanalyzed every single move people made towards me and altered my actions accordingly. This is unhealthy enough in itself, but as a result, I was basically living as the embodiment of an idealistic mean, based on my own probably incorrect interpretations of people's motives. Once I realized this, though, it was e to, a lot easier to be aware of which actions I made were based on how I wanted others to perceive me, and not on my own will. O obviously, I still don't feel like I completely understand myself, and I believe that none of us ever will completely. But by recognizing the problems that ultimately lead to an identity crisis and working out a way to solve it, it, I would hope that this helps other people in a similar situation. And the main point is that all of us may have to deal with identity confusion. And to get through this, you will have to learn to uncover and find bits of your real self. As you go through social interactions, they will be influenced, yes, but the amount, the amount your true identity takes up should be to the extent that it makes you comfortable. To refer back to the quote I mentioned in the beginning, I suggest a more appropriate sentence for our situation. Be true to yourself. And yes, also that it's also one of the many inspiring quotes you can find on the internet, it makes more sense. You need to be completely honest about who you are as a human being to spot the parts of you that feel genuine. And just noticing that can be a great start.